What's up guys, this is KD Cloudy and in this video I'll basically show you what's on my tech which includes my phone, my tablet and PC and I'm making this video because first it's been a while since my last what's on my phone video and also Adnan I have requested for this video over Twitter so yeah let's do this and first let's start with my phone. So the phone which I'm using is the 2013 OG Nexus 5 matte black 32 gigs with the dark rom running on top of it. 7.1.1 Nougat with all pixel features with the pixel launcher of course and a simple home screen all around. So in the dock I have the essentials which includes the dialer, Android messages, Outlook app for email which is my default, Chrome and the Twitter app the stock native Twitter client. And on the first page of the home screen I have Instagram, Google Keep, Spotify which I absolutely love for listening to music and then I have the creator studio app for checking up on stats and replying to comments and then I have the official YouTube app. No second home screen as such, no widgets as such so let's just get into the app drawer. But if you've got some standard stuff like 9gag, absolutely wallpapers after ship, then I've got Ampere which is a great app for measuring current and a bunch of uh, stock boring stuff. Then I've got memes for messenger and yeah you know paypal, paytm, periscope then I've got seal note, screener then slack, solid explorer, the uber app for you know cabs and the visco app, whatsapp, youtube and you know that's basically it and no I don't have any games installed simply because I don't play any games. Now moving on to my tablet it's the second generation ipad mini with the retina display and this too only has one page and a lot of people ask me what do I use my iPad for and I just use it to simply stream and consume media and I just love to do that since it has the biggest screen and good speakers and so yeah so here at first we got the basic stuff photos app store camera settings and then and then a folder full of rarely used Apple apps which come pre-installed and then I've got a folder of frequently used Google apps with Hangouts, Home for my Chromecast, Creative Studio, Translate and I've got this app called Widgets which is a handy app and displays a widget on the notification center showing like CPU usage, RAM usage and all that stuff. So yeah that's pretty good and then I've got OneDrive and Outlook for cloud and mail stuff. And then again basic stuff like Share It, Safari, 9gag, Tunnelbear, VPN, Facebook and Snapchat. And yes, I use Snapchat on my iPad, no shame, simply because the iOS app is much better than the Android app. And lastly, we have Airshow for screen recording and this app called YT Count for a widget for my real-time subscriber account over here in the notification center. And so yeah, we're done with the tablet. Let's now move on to my PC. Yeah, and so lastly, this is my PC, which I use to edit all my videos and also some daily casual stuff. It's a custom built PC from 2014 and boom the specs are right on the screen and I'm running Windows 10 anniversary update right now and I plan on updating to create this update pretty soon and yeah as you can see the desktop is pretty simple and clean with no icons and it has this default Windows 10 wallpaper and on my taskbar right now I have Google Chrome the default browser and then file explorer VLC media player for all my media consumption and I've got Google Keep Spotify and TweetDeck. Yeah, so TweetDeck is a pretty overlooked Twitter client for your desktop. So it's basically lets you tweet like a pro with everything on your screen at once. And that's all I'll say. I, uh, give it a shot if you're a power Twitter user. And yeah, then I got Windows Mail, which is my default mail client for the PC. Yeah, so let's brush through the start menu real quick. I got Mail, Calendar, Photos, Weather, which is a really nice app with a sweet life tie. Then I got Windows Store and below that a bunch of social media apps which I only use for getting notifications and I tackle them later through the action center. And I got Music Smash which shows you lyrics for Spotify songs and below that I have a group for video production apps which has Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, After Effects and Audacity and then I have Post Haste which is a handy app to organize all your footage and in folders and subfolders and then we got OBS to record screencasts just like right now. And lastly we have some miscellaneous apps like Microsoft Expression Encoder, Tunnelbear VPN, iTunes, Share It, Freemake, Video Converter to convert videos, Handbrake for compressing videos and lastly MS Paint because why not and yeah also voice meter to tweak my snowball audio. 
And lastly, we have uh, the Microsoft Office Suite 2013, Word and PowerPoint and stuff. And those were the apps which I used the most and and there's not really a point of going through all the apps installed because well, it's too damn long. But either way, those were the apps which I use on a daily on three of my most used devices. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.